The application of robotic arms in outer space are common these days. Russia has just launched a new module to the International Space Station, which includes a European robotic arm. At the core module of China's space station, a robotic arm is also on board to assist the Chinese astronauts or technonauts during their extravehicular activities. Which one is more powerful? Let's take a closer look into these space mechanical arms. In terms of length, the European robotic arm measures 11.3 meters. It could pass a football from a penalty spot to the goalkeeper when stretched. Slightly shorter, the arm at the core module of China's space station measures 10.2 meters. However, it can combine with the mechanical arms installed on the lab modules, which will likely to be launched next year. The combined arm can reach a working diameter of 15 meters. Both arms are highly flexible with 7 degrees of freedom, meaning they each have 7 joints. With all the joints, China's robotic arm can reach and fetch objects up to 25 tons from every angle and any location at the space station, while the European robotic arm is able to manipulate payloads of up to 8 tons. When it comes to precision, the European robotic arm is in the lead. Its tip positioning accuracy is 5 mm, while China's robotic arm has a tip positioning accuracy of 45 mm. Besides assisting technonauts in extravehicular activities such as the assembly, construction, and repair of the space station, China's robotic arm is also tasked to ensure the safe and reliable operation of the space station in orbit. The European robotic arm has similar missions, including transfer and installation of payloads, inspection of the space station with the use of cameras, and support for astronauts during spacewalks. Besides the two recently launched ones, other major robotic arms include the 17.6-meter space station remote manipular system built by Canada and the 10-meter Japanese experiment module remote manipulator system. Both are on board the International Space Station. As a mature technology, robotic arms have been used by many countries on spacecraft other than space stations. For example, in response to the call to clean up space junk, China has launched several satellites with robotic arms. One great example is the Aolong-1 or Roaming Dragon launched in 2016. Designated as a space junk cleanup satellite, Aolong-1 can grab space debris with a small robotic arm and launch them toward the atmosphere to burn them up. Space mechanical arms can ensure the safety of astronauts and efficiency of space exploration. With applications from different countries, we can unveil more mysteries of the universe.